Alright, so I want to make it perfectly plain here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this, this is like a last second thrown together setup. Yes, the, it's a little messy, but enjoy the shark fin tail that my grandma painted. But that's not, the background is not why we're here. We're here because for the first time, and who knows how long, I am actually going to be opening up Pokemon cards. Yes, I went out and uh, I went out of my way to Best Buy to buy this Armorugi, Armorugi EX, whatever this is. I bought this at Best Buy, okay? It, for whatever reason. It was on sale. I don't even know what packs are in here. Likely not even going to know what half of these Pokemon are. I don't even know what the age of this is. What is there? No, it's 2024, so why it's on sale? I don't know. I EXs are a thing in 2024, apparently. I did, here's the back. Um, so, I stopped following Pokemon really uh, a little bit into the X and Y point. That's when I stopped following it all together. So all, like, the Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield, like, stuff that I've heard, uh, whatever all that stuff is, like, all the Pokemon there are going to be for are going to be foreign, because I, I don't know what these two are. I don't know who this guy is, other than he's got steam pipes for shoulder pads. Um, there's this thing, he looks drunk, and then there's, I can't even, I can't, is it this dude? Uh, he, right now he's nameless, maybe just, okay, uh, Sulege, whatever. Okay, so, I'm gonna unapologetically open these, mispronounce everything, and uh, probably be a little bit of a boisterous idiot. This is also, I want to make it plain, this is not made for kids, by the way, anyway. I know it's a Pokemon thing, and whoop, bumping my setup around, that's, it's a poor setup. It's a Pokemon thing, and I know the kiddos love Pokemon. Um, but we're just gonna unapologetically open this today. I'm gonna give you my live feedback and opinions. It's not going to be fa family friendly necessarily, so just let's get that out of the way. This is not made for kids. Okay, so here's these cards. Um, oh, there's there's the code card for the set. Uh, I, when I say I haven't p played Pokemon in years, uh, well, I've never really played Pokemon, but uh, if you can decipher it here, I'll just take that out. Um, yeah, uh, here's, here's your redemption code for whoever is fortunate enough to stumble upon this and snag it before somebody else does. I'm just gonna set these. Actually, no. We'll pop them out. We'll do the proper thing. We'll pop them out. Just give me a second. Okay, so this one's all shiny and sparkly. A life sucker. Uh, fighting sword. Oh, he looks. Uh, I know nothing about it, but it, he looks pretty powerful. Okay, we got ourselves this other shiny. He's small. Um. Seems like it could be decent for as far as the promo goes. I don't know. And then this really shiny boy. Uh, look, I mean, look at this card that's glistening. I mean, how can you not just get attached to something like this? And it's got that nice texture. Um, nice to see this hasn't changed any time recently. Hopefully it doesn't any time soon. Otherwise, it's going to really screw things up. Uh, but yeah, overall, I mean, pretty cool. And I, one of the other reasons I got this, apart from it was on sale. Ooh, I don't even know. I don't even know what this is. This is a protector, so I'm assuming that goes in here. Literally everything in this box is useful. I hated the boxes that always came with those jumbo cards. Those were so fucking stupid, if you ask me. They were po stupid, pointless. They didn't serve any value, and I just dropped this. Um... Okay, that, that's... Oh, it's already dirty from my desk. That's good. My dirty, dirty desk. That's so stupid. I never got any use for them. They always got beat up. There was nowhere to put them. I don't know why Pokemon still does them, but what I like... What I do like that they at least do is we have sleeves, okay? We're, we got sleeves. We have stuff that's physically useful with the cards. I don't understand why that's still an issue with Magic Gather, unless it isn't, and they've actually changed the bundles, I ha I've dropped out of Magic within the past couple of years, but I just remember, like, in co you compare the Elite Trainer boxes to the fat packs or bundles that Magic the Gathering had, the, um, what was in the Magic the Gathering stuff was disappointing, okay, so we have, uh, we have Temporal Forces, Paradox Rift, I'm gonna organize, okay, we got two of those, we got Obsidian Flames, they've got dr the dragons, I can't, 
especially Charizard and Dragonite and Iconic. So I'm probably going to do that. Um, I feel like I should know these. Is that Salamence? I don't even know. I don't remember. It, I, I'm, remem I'm probably going to remember most of the OGs and not much else. That electric deer thing and... Uh, is that an evol evolution of Suicune? Or, like, the Mega version? I don't know. We're gonna go with what I assume, but probably isn't Suicune. Yes, you, you can give me crap for all of this you want. Yeah. Okay, so, what do we have? Redeem your rewards. Well, here's your rewards for watching. Uh, I'm gonna throw it on the floor. I see something shiny. Uh, okay, it's at the back, so Meryl I recognize. Now, I thought that was a water. You would think that would, Meryl was a water, but this one's psychic. Okay, Golet, um, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Dunsparce, okay, at least I kind of recognize some of these. Uh, is, I, I can't tell if that's a face or an ass. Honestly, it could be either, like, because that might be a tattoo, um... Okay, the, the hand tremor, you, the manscape Pokemon thing, uh, Rabska, uh, Spider Scab, whatever this is, um, Iron Jugulus, the Hydra Spider Dragon thing. What what even are these cards? It, okay, here's our Reverse Hollow Yamper, don't know what this is. Crocona! Another card I recognize, and it also makes sense because it's a water Pokemon. Reverse Thrust. Going backwards, okay? Uh, Fluttermane. Okay, it's an Ancient. I don't know what the Ancients do, but it's shiny. Maybe it's worth something, and so I'll be sorta gentle with it. Uh, and then we have a basic energy at the back. So I'm just gonna set this on my stack here at Loot. And, uh, okay, that was a common, common. We get two shiny cards instead of, or reverse shiny cards instead of just one now. Okay. Um, other temple forces. This is just going to be the most disorganized thing in human history. And either I'm going to edit it down in my editing software with audio from my computer mic, or it's going to be my phone microphone and you're just going to have to put up with it. I don't suspect I'll be doing something like this again anytime soon. Here's your uh, code card if you want it, and here's a green energy that I will set to have put in storage, which I will probably never see again. Oh, okay, there's more shiny things at the back. Also, this is new. It's no longer a yellow border, it's now a silver border. When did, have they done this? Uh, Roly Coley. Um, looks like if you had a Cyclops Geodude that you punched his face in and ripped his arms off, that's what you could get here. Looks like he's mining. Uh, Rockruff. I have a feeling that sounds familiar. Litten, I kind of remember, but to be honest, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Shroomish, Shroomish, yes, the, uh, uh, the stoned Pokemon. Uh, not so much stone, just, well, on shrooms, hence the name. Uh, double head, but, uh, Shaman. Oh, there we go. Now, Shaman, I kind of, that's a, that's one I kind of hold in my heart. That, that takes me all the way back to the Platinum days when I got into, opening stuff. It was literally on the tail end of Diamond and Pearl getting right into Platinum. Um, so sh seeing Shaman here brings back some memories. I'm going to set Shaman aside. That's that's just a nostalgia thing for me. Uh, this nerd girl using a magnifying glass on computer stuff that's got nothing revealing on it. That makes sense. Um, this powerful thing... Uh, be convolved. Also, my hand, I'm sorry if my hand's twitching. I, I accidentally smashed it with a four pound hammer twice yesterday, so, well, yesterday at the time of filming this. Rescue board! It's literally an ambulance skateboard. Nice. Uh, P Dove, another one I recognize. Uh, at least I know what that is. And then a shiny. I don't. Are these, like, proper shinies? Like,. Are these like, look also how it's bent already, which is kind of disappointing. 
uh, this, it says, okay, Placid Pokemon, um, it looks like it's Snoop Dogg were a dragon who then proceeded to do a portrait. I kind of get that just from the front here. You can. The, I, I'm assuming they meant these to be clouds, but it could be, you know, puffs of that uh, Mary Jane that, you know, Snoop's known for puffing. So, yep, there we go. We're going to set these aside. We're going to set him up here. We're going to move up to the next set of two that's identical, which is the Paradox Rift set. And I, oh my gosh, my neck is so itchy. I don't know why you needed to know that, but. That's another reason why I'm in discomfort. Come on. A hand steel feels kind of like a balloon. Uh, here's another code card. There you go. I'm going to throw it on my floor. Oh, and then the... Here's another grass energy there. Um, it's a horsey. Again, another one I recognize. Joltik, I remember you, kind of. Uh, Matu, there we go. We're starting to look. Oh yes, Remoraid, Remoraid's uh, mermaid fish. That's just another fish. Uh, Simpor, that I was that one of the monkeys. No, that wasn't. That would have had to have been X and Y because black and white was Syndicate. Not no, not now. I'm going all the way back to way old school. Um. Black and white was like that water panda, that like oinky pig, and that uh, it's Snivy. I remember Snivy. That's the only one I rem properly remember. Zeb Strika, uh, There's a electric horse. There's a fat fire crocodile wearing a sombrero. Uh, Porygon. Oh, there we go. There's another one I kind of remember. Uh, Steeny, which okay, and then a Chiyu is the rare. I guess they're all shiny now, which kind of. If they're all shiny, it kind of ruins the fun. I remember you'd get a hollow and go, Oh, I got a shiny. Now everything's shiny, and it's it's just not as fun. It's hard to tell if something's like like more valuable or just kind of eh. If you're going straight from the collector standpoint, which I kind of am. Uh, to be honest, half of this is going to get lost within a year, but, you know... It's been so long since I've opened up Pokemon cards, and I saw it on sale at Best Buy when I was going there for something else, and I, and I did get something else, it's not like I only got this, and I just figured, oh gosh, I am assaulting the audience. Just figured, why not get it? Seems like fun to me, here's your shit code card, I say it's shit, well, it's, it's probably not shit, somebody's gonna get something good out of that, hopefully. Good luck, by the way. I hope you're having better luck than I am, because so far I am... It feels like I'm missing. Uh, Kung Fu... Uh, saggy Panda. Uh, the Seed Man, Gibble. Uh, Panpour, XY Starters, right? The, the monkeys, the elemental monkeys. Tinkton, which just looks like... This would imply the hammer is, like, part of them, so if you break the hammer, you, they're dead. I, I don't like that. Tats, Tatsugiri? What, I don't even... What even is this? I can't tell if this is supposed to be, like, one of those water dragons, a seal, or just some sort of deranged lunatic thing. They're going off... Okay, Ancient Trainer... They're going off the rails with some of this. Oh, Gibble! Double Gibble. Look at that. Double Gibble. Set those down. Want to take that in. Uh, Mel Tank, the Melky Cow, and then Porygon Z is a rare with the energy on the back. I forgot about that. Uh, nice shiny Porygon Z. And looks cool. Does things. I really... I really don't know anymore. It, they're, 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 I'm, I don't follow Pokemon anymore, okay? So, perhaps the most exciting part of this 30 bucks I spent and trip down memory lane when I used to be obsessed with opening these. Double Gibble. We got our normal... Ah, 
and shiny. Ah, it looks like he's ready for something to come in his mouth. Um, take that as you will. By, I mean, like, we're just gonna move along. I'm not even gonna try and rescue that. I was thinking like a bucket of water or fruit or something, but I realized how that came out and how that sounds completely unhinged. Um, here's that code card. Um, stones, donkey thing. I feel like I recognize this one though. Going, judging by the numbers, it is kind of an original, at least what I consider to be an original. Uh, while, uh, I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce that. This looks like a, this looks like a Wish.com Pikachu, and whoever wrote it is not a fan of color, because they clearly did not bother coloring. Oh dear lord, what the hell is this? Ghost Dog Pokemon Grievard, it, Grievard, oh, okay, ha ha. Yeah, that, where, you can tell they're really grasping for straws here, at least in my opinion. Excadrill, I remember you. Pidgeotto, there's another one I remember you. Ooh, Dragonair. Awesome, I got a dragon. It had a dragon on the packaging, and now I've got a dragon in the pack. I'm satisfied. Ram and Dragon Tail. Oh, man, that brings me back to the memories of Dragon Tails. This is, go this is just... This is just an unhinged Pokemon box opening. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this, because I'm just not, like... I'm not even focused on what I'm doing, it's just I'm looking at it, judging by its cover, high lick wick. Uh, there's a Togepi, always adorable. Toxtricity. An electric psycho toxic frog. And a steel basic energy. I. I really don't. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't judge. I'm, I'm kind of going in this with the closed mind. Maybe I shouldn't judge too harshly. I've been out of this for so long and, you know, kind of taking a peek to see how things are again. It completely got away with having, like, the Japanese version where everything's, like, the silver and then it takes a while and then, like, the rest of it with all yellow bordered, if you guys remember that, gets released. Um... There's this. It's the final code card, the final pack. Um, get the energy off of here. And we have a Sklovit Cheeky Pokemon. Oh, really? What makes you say that, Captain Obvious? This fucker's pogging all the fruit. Hey, save some for the rest of us. Not like I'm going to eat them, because, well, I don't eat healthy, at least. I mean, I should, but I currently don't. Palpitoad with his long tongue that who knows where it's going. Uh, Zigzagoon. Tiny Raccoon Pokemon, that's very specific. Uh, Scyther, another one I remember. Uh, Camperrupt, the Exploding Hippo. Uh, it's the eruption Pokemon for sure. Lapras, I remember you, kinda. Um, Masquerain, oh, it's the water spider thingy and it involves into this flying spinny blade insect thingy. It, 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 this is one that I should be familiar with, but again, it's like mo I'm drawing blanks because my memory is jogged after not having touched these in literal years. Uh, Stunfisk, the first reverse, second reverse is the, the snotty bear, and then we have a Skullvillian with a spicy headbutt. Well, I'm assuming it's coming from the red one. So they've done a whole play on Capsaicin and Scoville units, and then they've made this into a uh, rampaging lunatic abomination Pokemon that nobody's ever gonna cuddle. We need to... The, the, uh, like, honestly, like... It, it, this is one of those things I look at it, and I'm almost inclined to say kill it before it breeds. We probably should kill it before it breeds. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the Windows background there. Um, and you probably were able to make out that it was a, if you were able to make out that it is indeed an unactivated version of Windows, so I congratulate you for your eyesight for being that good, or you're just not paying attention to what it was I'm doing. Not that I was paying attention either, either but just to recap of the loot, here's like the really shiny things, all of this, the Snoop Dogg Dragon there, it's probably my favorite one to be honest, and then, or other than Shaman, just, it's good to see Shaman again. Up there with one of my top five favorites. 
Um, then the Armor Rouge broiler dude, the his little midget friends, and then the sword man that's probably his... That, wait, no, it evolves. He's all... No, they don't evolve off of each other. What is... Oh, so it could be either or. So they probably have... Like, this dude could either do... Bro, he's either a broiler or he's a shadow knight. Well, if I had the choice between the two, I'm going to be a shadow knight. But I'm going to look more sparkly than that one is. Alright, uh, thank you for putting up with my bullshit. If you, for some reason, are still here. If I, indeed, have not edited this down at all. Uh, I'm C Infinity, and I'm probably going to be gone for another year. I'll maybe see you then.